Well, hi there, everybody, and good Thursday morning to meteorologist Travis Klineski here. We just wrapped our first ever uh, NBC Nebraska Today show. Some big changes. If you've been watching over the last uh, 18 hours or so, you've probably noticed quite a few of those changes uh, on our station. So, uh, yeah, you're going to see a, a little bit more of that as we go through the next couple of, uh, of uh, days and year, maybe years to come. I don't know how long it'll be, but, yeah, some big changes out there, and I hope hope so far that you have enjoyed them. We have had some strong to severe thunderstorms, still some, some strong activity out there this morning uh, in northern portions of Kansas, some severe weather going on. Uh, the showers are really starting to die back, though, and they will start to push eastward during the morning hours. So I think by the noon hour, we're starting to try to break up clouds in central Nebraska. Still a few lingering showers into the eastern and southeastern parts of the viewing area and it will be a cooler day I wouldn't say cold by any means but cooler 60s on the way with a uh, blustery or breezy winds out of the north and northwest at around 10 to 20 miles per hour more sunshine this afternoon to help warm things up into the 60s then we turn our attention to the northwest once again another cold front coming in a reinforcing shot of cold air and that's also going to bring in a chance of showers after midnight tonight through about sunrise tomorrow a chance of showers but the bigger story the chilly windy conditions coming in behind that frontal boundary winds are really going to kick in out of the northwest at around uh, 20 30 miles per hour gusts could be as high as 40 miles per hour uh, by the time we get to sunrise though showers are gone in fact the clouds will clear out pretty quickly for tomorrow so we have the sunshine for tomorrow just not going to have the uh, uh, very nice conditions out there again the chilly blustery winds the wind should subside friday evening just uh, around the time for those football games but with those winds dying down Good uh, good recipe for some radiational cooling out there. We're going to be talking about temperatures dipping back into the 30s for overnight lows, some frost possible by Saturday morning. Before today, temperatures after the uh, early showers clearing out, we're going to see some afternoon sunshine. Temperatures up into the mid-60s up north. A little warmer out west with longer periods of sunshine, I think upper 60s, maybe even getting close to 70 degrees. Uh, in the south central part of Nebraska, north central Kansas, some early showers will give way to uh, temperatures in the uh, mid-60s with uh, more afternoon sunshine. To the east, clouds will last longest there, so will showers. And that means slightly cooler conditions, low to mid-60s for afternoon highs. Your extended forecast again, <coughs> excuse me, still fighting my cold here. Uh, Temperature-wise, it's going to be chilly, 50s for your Friday, mid-50s. Also, again, those early showers before sunrise, and again, those winds will be strong as well. Then down to 33 for Saturday morning, areas of frost. I would not be surprised to see somebody dip back into the upper 20s. So, yeah, that's really the first sign that fall is really here. That first time you drop below freezing, and some of you will. We'll get back into the mid-60s on Saturday afternoon with lots of sunshine. I did throw in a slight chance of uh, showers for Sunday. It's not a great chance, though. Uh, upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Wind's picking up again. And then next week looks nicer. 70s, pretty average on Monday. And then even above average Tuesday and Wednesday. Lots of sunshine and temperatures back into the mid to upper 70s. So it does get better. Just kind of a temporary cool down, just reminding us that, yes, we are officially in the fall season. And, of course, we have the Harvest of Harmony Parade on uh, Saturday morning in Grand Island. Bundle up, 30s to start off the morning hours, probably going to be 40s to lower 50s by the time it wraps up. Uh, so, yeah, it seems like that's almost typical that we see that chilly weather for the Harvest of Harmony Parade. And if you have plans, I don't have the graphic up here, but if you have plans to go to East Lansing, Michigan here in the next day, be prepared for rain and chilly conditions on Saturday, especially before the game. Slight chance of showers during the game and temperatures only in the 40s, so uh, not going to be very pleasant there. But hopefully, if you are going, and you, know, you guys will be enough to root on the Huskers to a good victory. So yeah, changes on the way in the next couple of days, but some nice weather will return as we head towards next week. So there's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. Hope you have a great Thursday.